guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and we are here with a new episode of Skyrim Bleach, known as Skyrim Bleach, Uchiha's descendant. And, and uh, we're gonna be playing with a female character, and a lot of a few, you know, one or two of you guys were all like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about the female character, but you know, I, I kind of like it. You know, we've never played as a female. Please don't be naked when I take this robe off. I'm okay. She has underwear on. Look at the hair. Hair is pretty dope. Um, we have some weird bracers on because the Akatsuki don't have bracers, but we'll we'll get into all this It's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, we're not doing any webcam um, Unless you guys want me to do webcam. Just let me know of course. Um, I've already got some starting items obviously and uh, We have the almighty push kunai uh, Sage six paths uh, Shibuki and this is a really cool one that we're gonna be doing now I know you guys are probably thinking well. I thought this was gonna be a role play. Absolutely not We're going back to the beginning and I'm not letting no one change my mind. We need to go back to Skyrim bare minimum. And now, as you can also see, we have a lot of the uh, Jutsu. Um, some of which we can cast, some of which probably can't cast. Um, uh, it's going to be awesome, though. I think I have the Vasto Lorde transformation. Yep, I have the Master and Overpowered. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. So... The whole, the whole point of the scythe is, it kind of looks like the Mangekyo Sharingan, so... This scythe holds the eye of Striker Uchiha, or whichever Uchiha you want it to be, I really don't care. Um, so let's go ahead, let's do Sharingan Awakening. Uh, wait, I don't know if I actually set it to Obito's path, so let's go down here. Uh, refresh Sharingan. There we go, it's gonna process and redo the whole thing. Now we do cast shutting gun. Uh shutting gun awakening, there we go. And now we're going to do Toby. Um I don't think no, Toby doesn't get Izanagi, that'd be pretty dope. Um like Itachi. So pretty much Izanagi is is that it creates a clone of myself that dies in my place. Um, if I were to die, but I don't think we'll be dying anytime soon. I might even turn on God mode. I'm not really sure. I always like playing the game in God mode because I can always use the abilities as much as I want to. Um, but again, let me know in the comments section below. But we're going to go with Toby's path. Because uh, Toby has all these cool like teleportation jutsus and they have their own little area. So we're going to run with Toby's path. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're running the Akatsuki robes right now until we can go get the Shinigami robes. Um, and I haven't decided if I want to actually run with just the Shinigami Road, or if we should reawaken the Akatsuki. Anyways, um, I'm trying to cut whenever there is like a, a waiting scene, um, that way we don't have to wait. Uh, let's go to the family farm, I think it's where it is. Oh, we need to read the letter first. That's what I was missing. Uh, strange letter, strange letter, or strange note. Uh, there we go. And now we will be able to go to the old family farm. Now, uh, <clears throat> I do have a lot of the, uh, what in the hell is that? Is that a mod that I've added? Hold up, what is this? Fort Graymore. Uh, bro, there's a UFO outside your house. I don't know if you noticed. I th think something glitched really bad. Uh, I don't even know how to get over here. Something, it just doesn't seem like anything is going right over here. This just this, this looks really wrong. God damn it. Let me up. Ah. You need to be able to teleport, it's ridiculous. Phase through wall. Can I become ethereal yet? That'd be really dope if I could be Toby's ethereal body, just phase through crap. Now, what are you, and why are you transparent and looking like crap? Whatever it is, it's not done. What are you supposed to be? You're just a bandit. All oh, right, I started this game as a bandit with the live another life mod, so I don't think bandits attack me. That's actually a really funny. How can I think you can steal from me? And of your animals. You are not getting anything from me. Fine, kill you then. Whoa, oh my That's god! Brutal! 
Oh my goodness. Okay, that was just that was oh, wow. Oh wow, that's a really nice cloak actually. I might just go ahead and equip that unless that makes me naked. Oh no, it doesn't. Ooh. Um yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know uh if a mod like I have no clue. There's a trap door here. Graymore prison. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think something really got messed up. I'm gonna kill you too. Help me awaken my Sharon gun. I know you see the Renegon, but you know, I was in a rush and that was the only eye color I could actually see. Um, anywho, let's get back to. I'm stuck now. God damn it. I got fast travel. Alright. Um, don't I have a pet mud crab in here somewhere? Pretty sure I do. It's like scurrying around like a like a cute little crabby crab. Mud crab! Where are you? <laughs> Alright, that scared the shit out of me. That was like that didn't even sound like someone breathing. Search the farm. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I've I've done this mod before, and I've always used console. Com sorry, I've always used console commands to get into the um, the basement. I figured out where the damn key is. You go to this bookshelf, and right over here, it's an expert level lock. I don't know why you don't get a key to this. Um, I guess maybe you're supposed to come back here when you're a higher level. Maybe I don't know, but uh. We'll try, we'll try our hand at it. If we run out of lockpicks, then we're definitely just going to um, cheat it open. God damn it. Come on. Come on. No. A little bit this way. Nope. I hate this damn minigame. There we go. Yeah. So we open this up. You get an amethyst. Well, you get a few amethysts. Father's secret key. 2,000 gold. 14 gold ore. Not a bad haul. So we're going to go downstairs now. Which we now have the key to open this cage. Activate the button. And I don't know, is there anything in the chest? No, there's not. Uh what the hell? Oh, that's like plant or moss or something. Okay. Go down here and let's go ahead and obtain the power of a Shinigami. Um, I'm also going to save because my game likes to uh, uh, likes to break. So like every couple of minutes, not couple of minutes, I would say every maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes, the game crashes for some reason. And we, I haven't yet to figure it out why. Uh, Father's journal. Uh, we already know all this. Pretty much, he was uh, out to try and fight the dragons. Yada yada. Soul Society. Grab that. And there's a Shinigami and the SMG. Ri Ryoku. Wait, what is Ri Ryoku? Is that the name of the sword? No, Sachi's the name of the sword. Ri Ryoku. Mm. There's Riatsu. Ri Ryoku. Um, I'm not seeing a Ri Ryoku in here. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, forgot to awaken the armor roster. Um, See, so yeah, I gave myself a bunch of dragon souls only because um, that way we can get more perks. Because if you don't know, in the Jutsu Masters hideout, there's a little tablet that um, you can trade dragon souls for perks. So you can unlock different perk abilities and stuff like that. So, let's head on out of here now. And we need to find a place to awaken our brand new Soul Society organization. Which, now that I'm thinking about it... This is supposed to be bleach, so why? Hey, damn bug, get off my back. Hey, come here, doge. Doge. Leave the deer alone. Rude. Aw, oh, I tried to save you. I'm sorry. God damn it, come here, moth. Come here, there we go. Um... So I'm gonna have to give myself more of the the Shinigami robes, uh, but that's gonna be okay, I think, because you can only get one set, and if we're gonna do the Soul Society kind of thing, instead of the Akatsuki, um, I need more Soul Reaper outfits. 
And also, really cool thing if we go over here to... What is this? White runs vault seek. Oh, I added vaults into this. I don't, I don't remember doing that. Um, I don't remember crap. Uh, Jutsu Master's hideout. Go to Riverwood. So yeah, we added in a mod over here that actually adds in bleach blades. Also adds in some hotos. Um, I don't know what they do. Let's see. Oh, hotto number one. This is just like Almighty Push. Uh, hotto 101 sends target across Tamriel. Weak bolt of lightning. Nah, I'm not really big on these. I might keep 101 because it just sounds funny. You'd be able to shoot someone across the world. Um, but here we go. Bleach weapons. We have Benihime, uh, Katen Kyokatsu. I don't really know the name of the blades. Sorry, guys. Um, Kimpachi Zambakto. Obviously, Kimpachi doesn't have no, is the name of his blade. Seal Schneider, uh, Sinbun Sakura, Shikai Hollow Zangetsu. Uh, Shikai Zangetsu, Shikai Zangetsu, two-hander, I'm guessing. Oh, th oh, there's different forms of it, okay. Uh, Tobiyume, Wabisuke, uh, Zabimaru, and regular Zangetsu. Now, Zangetsu and the Shikai Zangetsus, I'm not going to give away, but I will give these other ones away to some lucky followers, and we will actually go through them. And uh, you guys get to decide. Who is going to be the lucky follower to be able to join the Soul Society? Um, I need to put my Shinigami robes on. doesn't really make a difference. They both have zero armor value, so... If I get hit, I'm getting rocked. <laughs> and I guess I'll put these on, too. There we go. How do they look on women? Wow! Okay. That's actually... Okay. Don't think this was made for men. Or women. I don't think it was made for women at all. But we'll take it. We shall take it. Now, I'm, let's see. What's a good quest? Uh, we have the Call of the Grey Cal of Nocturnal. I accidentally stole a bowl. And I got this. So we need to reach the place. I think this is going to be a really cool quest that we're going to do. Um, let's see. Oh, we need to do a headquarters. Actually, the... There's a really cool headquarters. It's called the Leveler's Tower. It's a it's literally a cheating tower. That's all it is. And you can up your melee, you can do a lot of different stuff, but we won't actually bother with that because I tend to crash a lot in there and we don't want to mess with that. So let's go to Seviana's house. There we go. Mm, let's also equip a Sachi. Might as well. Um Kind of sucks though, because I wanted to be kind of like a uh, two-handed person, but I guess we'll have to deal with one-handed. We have reached the place. I want your axe. Actually, I don't want your axe. Your broom, though. I'm gonna throw your broom over here. Seviana, hello, Seviana. Finally, you're here. She scared me, bro. My has been waiting for generations, Dragonborn. Umbranox. Wait, Umbranox wasn't he the um? Wasn't he the? Count of oh, what was it? An Oblivion Anvil? He turned out to be the Gray Fox. Yes, that's right. I'm Seviana Umbernox, and this is my husband Luvian. Oh. We are the keepers of the Arrow of Extrication. Really? Please make yourself comfortable. I will tell you the whole story. Oh, wonderful! Can I? Oh, I can just take your shit. Hell yeah! Give me your stuff. Give me everything you own. What's in this chest? Nothing? Guess what? You're damn right nothing. What's in this book? Nothing. Just gives me more lockpicking abilities. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Taking your food. Give me your potatoes. Give me all your potatoes. Give me give me your Give me give me give me everything. Just give me it all. Need something. No, I don't really care about you. I just want your food. Yeah. No, don't sit with him. Just steal his food, woman! So this is another reason why this oh. isn't a roleplay, because uh, let's just face it, I Um, Need something. I do not have what it takes to make a female voice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think you guys will kind of like this though because it kind of rolls back yeah. to what the Skyrim series used to be on uh, my channel. Okay, I gotta sit down. Hey, Ubernox. Tell Everybody me. knows that the fourth era began when Maroon's Dagon was defeated and sent back to oblivion, thanks to the sacrifice of Martin Septon and the champion of Cyrodiil. 
My ancestor was the illegitimate and secret son of Corvus Umbernox. He was the Count of Anvil 200 years ago. Few know, perhaps nobody, that Corvus Umbernox was the notorious Grey Fox. Sorry, I yes, spilled water. I'm the legendary to leader of the Thieves Guild. The story of the Grey Fox is not well known, but everybody wrongly thinks that he's immortal. Well, it's not like that. Grey Fox was, during centuries, many different people. You might ask yourself now why anybody noticed when he turned into a new person. I mean, I guess. It's thanks to the mysterious cowl of Nocturnal that makes the person wearing it, looking the same as the one before. It also gave you the power to become a master in thievery. After Corvus, the champion became the new Grey Fox. Okay, what do I have to do with all the this? The champion, just before dying, nominates Corvus to take care of the cowl while waiting for the Dragonborn to arise. That's because at that time, there was no member of the Thieves' Guild worthy of wearing the cowl. And so he decided the Grey Fox would be someone more worthy, a Dragonborn. The last one was Martin Septon, who was uh -huh. the son of the Emperor Yurio. So, the, After the champion years, a new of Cyrodiil is like, you, the yeah, none of, of you thieves are good enough for the Great Cow. Let's just wait for a dragonborn. It's the call of the Grey Fox. He knows who you are, what you want, and in the mausoleum of the champion of Cyrodiil. All of Tamriel think he was buried near his old mansion in Anvil. But that's not how it is. There is nothing but an empty grave. It was my ancestor Corvus, so Akito built the mausoleum secretly. Dude, Corvus they really the went in depth with to this. Find the mausoleum, like they, you must they think took as a everything of the from Oblivion. Like a thief. My mission is to give you the arrow and to show you where to start your quest. The champ. One last thing, nobody is to go with you. This is something you have to do alone. Whoever should go with you on this journey will not know to step over the threshold of the place I showed you. Good luck, and may Nocturnal guide you. Oh, uh, thanks, babe. So, uh, yeah. I think it's gonna wrap it up for the first episode. I hope you all have enjoyed. I know we didn't do too much, but uh, if you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course, if you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new edition of the Arca Army. We will steal more yo shit. Um, but yeah, next time we come back, we'll head on over to the hell? Oh, whatever. We'll head over and we'll start going to um, the Hall of Initiation or whatever the hell they call it. And uh, yes, we'll continue from there. Um, but uh, I think right. I think uh, we're gonna go with the whole uh, Shinigami kind of uh, uh, look and everything. I like the hat with the Shinigami robe; it's actually really nice. But guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, comment, of course. If you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Arca Army. Guys, I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. This is your lovable big boy, signing out. Peace! Yeah.